Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today I will be teaching you how to enable various visual effects in Ubuntu Linux using Compiz including the Rotating Cube desktop switcher. Ubuntu is a very popular distribution of Linux um, and has many advantages over Windows and Mac OS X including security, speed, its vast library of free open source applications and the fact that it is completely free. It can also be customised upon immensely unlike the relatively locked down interfaces of um, Mac OS X and uh, Windows. This is due to the relatively open and customizable uh, uh, interface known as GNOME that um, uh, Ubuntu uses as its desktop environment. One of the great things about Ubuntu is that it enables you to work in several workspaces uh, at once. This is a feature OS X has since implemented. Um, however, on Ubuntu, there are amazing visual ways in which the user can switch between workspaces. The most iconic and popular is the rotating desktop cube uh, that you see here. This was the reason I tried out Ubuntu in the first place, and uh, in Linux in general. This effect does not come as standard in Ubuntu and needs to be enabled. I'm going to show you how to enable this and tweak its settings. First of all, you need to enable visual effects in Ubuntu. To do this, move your cursor to the system in the upper toolbar, click it and roll over preferences, and then click appearance. Then under the visual effects tab, click either normal or extra. Either will work, but extra requires a faster graphics card. We can now close this window. Now to enable the rotating desktop cube, you need a piece of software called Compiz. The good news is that this comes pre-installed with Ubuntu. The bad news is that it has no graphical interface and can only be executed using the command line in the terminal unless we install a graphical interface to work with it. This is simple, just click Applications in the top left corner of the screen. Then click Ubuntu Software Center. Using the search bar, search for Compiz. You can see Compiz in the list already installed and directly under that an application called Advanced Desktop Effect Settings, CCSM. Click that and click Install. You will be prompted to enter your password. Now drag your cursor over to System on the toolbar, click it and then roll over Preferences. Then click Compiz Config Settings Manager. Under the heading Desktop, click the tick box next to Desktop Cube and then click Disable Desktop Wall. Then click the tick box next to Rotate Cube. You now have the Rotating Desktop Cube enabled. You can control it by holding down Ctrl and Alt and moving your mouse around. Alternatively, you can use the left and right arrow keys with Ctrl and Alt. You can see in the bottom right corner which workspace you are currently on. You can even click a workspace here and you will be moved there through the cube. If you now click the actual text button, desktop cube, you will be able to tweak its settings. If you click the behavior tab and tick inside cube, you can inverse the workspace to be inside the cube like this. Under the appearance tab, you can set the images that will display on top and bottom of the cube. Just click New and browse for an image file. Under Sky Dome, you can select an image to display behind the cube. Make sure to tick the Sky Dome tick box first. If you use an image like a landscape or a sky, you can tick the Animate Sky Dome box and the Sky Dome image will move as the cube moves. Alternatively, you can set a gradient as a Sky Dome, like this. Under the Transparent tab, you can adjust the opacity of the cube when stationary and when moving. If you now click back and go into the Rotate Cube settings, you can adjust the settings even more. Using the pointer sensitivity slider, you can adjust how sensitive the mouse is when moving the cube. Using the zoom slider, you can adjust how far the cube zooms out when you start rotating. Under the bindings tab, you can adjust the keyboard and mouse configuration for interacting with the cube. So now that we have our cube tweaked the way we want it, let's look at some other desktop effects Compiz allows us to do. Click back to go to the main menu. Let's try out Wobbly Windows. Click the tick box and start moving a window. It is now wobbly. If you go into the Wobbly Windows settings, we can tweak its settings further. Another nice effect is the Minimize effect. We need to disable animations to enable this effect. 
It makes the minimizing of windows look a little bit cleaner. Another nice effect is the ring switcher. Scroll down to Windows Management and enable it there. It is similar to the Flip 3D Aero effect seen in Windows, but I find it a lot better as the windows are facing the user and not angled like in Windows. These are some of my favourite desktop effects and as you can see there are many more to choose from, so have a look around yourself using the Compaze Config Settings Manager. This has been a tutorial on enabling the rotating desktop cube using Compaze in Ubuntu. Thank you.